What's up, bitches? I'm just kidding. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Or should I say, I don't really want to say hey guys anymore because I feel like everybody says that. So I'm going to start saying... What's up, bitches? So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me, an updated makeup routine. Just chit chat with y'all, update y'all on my life, on... Um, Things, you know just talk right welcome back to my channel or another video sh i shall say and for those that are new hi my name is arelli and i hope you stay let's go ahead and get into the video but this is my third time filming this video can y'all believe that shit the first time i didn't like it the second time i was having technical difficulties and that was today um hopefully my camera doesn't act up it's been like turning off on me just randomly like it gets too hot and it just turns off so i went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera just because just to make it faster so how have you guys been oh my god i know i have not like sat down and spoken to you guys in a minute it's been a while but it's okay i'm back better than ever i had asked on instagram like to give me topics to talk today on the video but first and foremost before i do proceed i just want to say thank you all to who have still been rocking with me to this day and to those who keep watching me since day one Oh my god like i am so grateful for y'all i plan to do a lot of stuff for my youtube channel this year and the coming up year and this time i am for real i have a lot of video ideas that i want to do so just stay tuned for that i thought i went to ulta on friday bro and tell me how i got the wrong motherfucking shade of concealer this is my original shade which is medium tan golden am i dumbass got medium tan sand which is so much more lighter as you can tell this one is like dead like <laughs> i need to throw this bitch out but there's some in it still like all the way down there okay because i paid for this motherfucker shit. i need to go return it oh my god let me tell y'all so last night i was shopping because you know it's like labor day weekend well today is labor day sorry Happy Labor Day to all of y'all. Thank God I didn't have to work today. Yeah, so yesterday I was shopping online, right? Because there's a lot of like Labor Day sales and stuff. I was shopping for like a, a dress because I have a quinta to go to. Tell me how I freaking lost my wallet. And I couldn't find it last night. And I looked everywhere. I looked in my car. I looked outside. I literally traced my tracks to see if I could find this freaking wallet. And my wallet is small. It's like, I don't have it, but it's, oh, it's right here. It's literally this small. So it can like fall anywhere and I wouldn't even notice. So I checked in the couch too, bro. I checked so many times in the couch. I lifted the couch and everything and I couldn't find it. I literally like tore up my room this morning and I couldn't find it. And so I literally went to sleep thinking that my boyfriend hid it from me because he didn't want me to spend i don't know i was just like oh my god it's he has when i lose something and i know that i lost it like i lost it somewhere like where i won't be able to get it back i get that feeling that i'm like, fuck, like i start stressing even more but for some reason i wasn't stressed that much because i knew i lost it here and i was gonna find it eventually but the fact that like, i wanted to buy clothes for labor the labor day style i was stressing that i wasn't gonna find it by the end of today i woke up this morning and literally that's the first thing i did look for my wallet tell me how i found it in the motherfucking couch all the way in deep in i was like bro all that all that freaking stress and everything and me blaming ambrosio that he took it for it to be in the goddamn couch i wasn't gonna do eyeshadow but i lucky do want to do eyeshadow i think i'm just gonna do one shade i'm gonna do this pinkish shade it's the p louise wedding wish palette and i'm gonna use this sh th this sh this 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 shade and the style and the <laughs> the shade hitched i can't talk so guys i know i've been kind of gone for a little bit well not really well yeah kind of i haven't really been as bad active on youtube and i know i said that in my last video but um i'm saying it again not because i don't want to but because i don't know what the fuck to film but i came to the conclusion that i am going to start i'm gonna bring back my makeup tutorials because i miss making them okay so i didn't like just a shade so i'm thinking i'm gonna add this shimmer right here it is called commitment 
I'm gonna just use my finger because I feel like your finger is so much better than a brush. Yeah, I'm gonna bring back my my makeup tutorials because I'm I low-key miss making them. And if you guys have been watching me to the OGs that have been watching me since I started YouTube, you know that that's what I originally like would make videos of is me make like makeup tutorials. So I'm gonna bring those back. I'm still gonna do vlogs and you know like here and then like other videos i have so many video ideas oh my god i'm so excited i think i just needed like an overdue overdue break or whatever a long <laughs> i can't fucking talk i had a i needed a long overdue break i needed one and i feel like me going to mexico really helped like just get away from reality like you know just be out of the country be with family or surrounded by people that love me and shit people that i love i feel like that helped a lot now that i'm talking about mexico someone did tell me to discuss about mexico tell you guys how my trip went for those of you that have not watched my last vlog go watch it i did go to mexico in july um it's been over a month already to go see family and it was so much fun bro i love going to mexico because i just feel so free over there i don't know how to explain it if you go to mexico and you like you know what i mean like you just go and you just feel so much more free like i don't know if it's just i feel like it's other parents like other mexican parents too but for some reason when you go to mexico your parents are so much so much more okay with you doing things that you wouldn't be able to do here it was just so much fun i think what made it more fun is that the fact that my cousins came down we all like were able to be together and do things while we were over there let me not say it like this because i feel like people are gonna take it the wrong way in mexico you guys know that the dollar is worth so much more than the peso so over there they don't really drink liquor like we do here because liquor over there is considered like for the wealthy the people that have money because it is so expensive and it is expensive over there it's the same price but it's just so much more expensive you know what i mean so i was like i told my cousin like you know what we're gonna get a bottle of bucanas because i me myself i prefer to drink liquor over beer because beer is just disgusting but since I was over there, at first I was like, oh no, I don't want beer, like, you know, I'm fine. But then I felt bad because my cousins were drinking and I was the only one, tr not like, you know, like, I didn't want to drink beer. So I was like, you know what, fuck it, give me the beer. So I got used to drinking beer, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to buy a bottle of Bucana. We were just, you know, there drinking, having fun, family, vibing. If I could literally pack my shit, book a flight right now, and go. I would, but your girl got a 9 to 5 job that won't allow her. I always have fun when I go. I love being with my family. It's just different, you know? And me being able to be blessed, to be able to even go to Mexico and see my family, I am so thankful. It's just a lot of people aren't don't have that blessing to be able to go and see their family. So I am truly blessed and thankful that I can go to Mexico and see my family and actually you know visit and meet the place where my parents grew up and my parents met you know and sometimes when i when i'm over there i sometimes think to myself like damn like how would my life be if my parents never crossed over and came to the united states you know i always think about that like how the fuck like how would my life be i miss my nephews oh my god my nephews are the most cutest thing ever like literally like i would kill for them they give me baby fever but then again at the same time they're like they were looking like my birth control because oh my god i love them but they're a handful every single morning they would come and wake me up and be like come on like wake up or like come on it's time to eat or you're still sleeping i was just like bro leave me the fuck alone i love them truly my angel this is what i tell people if you have the opportunity to go to mexico and meet mexico do it i know people that are scared to go to mexico because of you know what they say like the cartel and everything but if you think about it every country is corrupt but then again i have also been going since i was younger so i guess it's different people like i know people that literally were born here in the united states have papers and are too scared to go and then i have other people that were you know obviously migrated over here or brought here at a young age and they would give up the whole entire world just to go and meet mexico i always tell people like if you have the opportunity uh, or, or, bleh, opportunity to go then motherfucking go now if you're traveling alone then i understand because that's completely different there was one day where it like when i was in mexico it rained hella hard like super hard 
and it, I could not sleep like I could not sleep it was raining so hard and we lost service around I want to say like four five in the morning I literally woke up I woke up because I could not sleep bro I could not sleep like it was literally had me up all night it started at like around I want to say three and ended at like five and then on top of that my cousin's dogs they were crying like bro like if somebody was killing them and I felt so bad because I wanted to like let them out I think I still have the video if I have the video I'll show you But it was raining so bad and it was like i want to say suffering like around four no five around five we lost signal no well service i want to say service we lost service we didn't get it back to like three or three or four in the afternoon i think it was so funny because ambrose he was like texting me blowing up my phone like he thought i was like mad at him or like something happened because i wouldn't answer and like it was just going like it, it wouldn't send because it wasn't allowing him to send because I didn't have service and he tried texting my sister too she didn't like was obviously wasn't answering so I think he kind of kind of caught on but this man texted me on messenger messages on iMessage on snapchat on twitter on facebook oh, I already said that he emailed me I was all like <laughs> Bruh, it was so funny. That's how my trip to Mexico was. I ate so good over there every single day. Oh my god, I missed the food. I wish I could go back. Someone asked me, how do I stay motivated? Girl, motivation? I honestly don't know. Like, for the gym, I was so motivated at first. Like, I was like, hell yeah, we're gonna go every single motherfucking day. I'm about to get thick as fuck, you know. And I was hella motivated at first, but then... I switch. I used to go like in the afternoon. I want to say like around right after work. And then I noticed that it would just take too much of my time. Like every single day going to the gym after work. And the, the gym that I go to after after like everybody gets out of work. It gets hella packed. Like it's packed as the hell. So I was like I can't be going like every single day. Because when it's packed it takes longer for you to use machines. And like you know like things like that. So I was all like I can't be like going to the gym at like 6 in the afternoon and leaving at like 8 and then going home and then having only like 2 hours to myself every single day. I used to go with my sister so we changed it and we started going in the morning before work so I would wake up at 6 in the morning hella early and go and honestly I liked it so much better because it was empty and it was older people so like in the afternoon like after work it was a lot of younger people like it was a mixture honestly it was a mixture of like young people and then like people in like in their 20s to like their 40s but in the morning it was mainly older people and some people that like were in like their 20s like 30s so I just like stopped going in the afternoon and would go like every single morning and I still do but Sometimes I'm just so tired and I cannot get up from bed and I end up not going and I hate myself like, I literally will be like oh my god I just punching the air and I'll tell myself like I'll be like I'll wake up and I'll go to work and I'm like was it really worth me sleeping in and not going to the gym But for the gym the way I stay motivated I just think about having a fat ass I'm like if I want a fat ass I gotta put that work in so that's all I think about. So now I'm officially like, you know, telling myself like, okay, I'm going to do like makeup videos and all this stuff. I feel like so much more motivated. I also started listening to like um, motivation speeches. When I was in high school, I used to be an avid. Um, and my avid teacher would always play us like motivation speeches. Like when I'm working out or stuff like that, I will tend to listen just to like have like somebody out in my ear my favorite line is nobody wants it as much as you do and if you don't push yourself for it nobody else will if you don't believe in yourself nobody else will if you don't do things for you nobody else will what i also like tend to think about a lot is my siblings like my younger siblings i want the best for them and i want them to grow up thinking like if i want this i can i can get it you know like i want them having that mindset and it's hard but you gotta push yourself at the end of the day and if you're not pushing yourself nobody else is gonna push yourself and you're never gonna get to where you want to get you know oh my god i bought this dress i'm not gonna show you guys but i bought this dress from ootd fash super cute i need to go buy i need to go to the freaking mall and buy some 
clear heels i've been wanting some clear heels for such a long time i have also wanted some sneakers i'm getting into sneakers i want to be like a sneaker girl oh my god my eyes i can see my eyes the sneaker is so expensive hell of expensive i'm just like <gasps> i don't know if i want to spend that much i have never spent over a hundred dollars on a pair of shoes never and it's because <laughs> Like growing up, my mom was like, "Esas es locas si quieres, si piensas que te voy a comprar unos zapatos que cuestan como más de cien dólares or more than fifty." I remember in high middle school, I wanted some Nikes, the Air Forces. My mom didn't want to buy me the other, like the actual like Air Forces ones, because they were so expensive. So I got some ugly ass Air Forces. I just want to say, if we went to school together and you saw me in those ugly ass Air Forces, I just want to say I'm sorry for traumatizing you with that image of me. Oh my God, I want to do a yard sale. Because I have so much clothes that I don't need. And whatever I don't sell, I'm just going to donate it. I have this one video idea I'm so excited to do. I'm just waiting for my friend to like let me know when so we can film it. But I'm so excited for you guys to see that. Oh my god, I have, I have been getting like a lot of, um, not a lot, but I have been getting like some comments about that I should do another like drunk get ready with me or another high versus drunk video. Or like another oh my god i have been told that i should do a high smoke sesh i don't know if i'll do another smoke sesh only because i don't know um the ones that i posted they're already on youtube so it's like whatever at this point um if you haven't watched them go watch them but i don't know if i would do another one even though it is one of my recommended videos i don't know maybe we'll see maybe maybe in the future you read my mind. I was gonna tell you to go get that. Oh, I'm gonna be using for my eyelashes. I'm gonna be using my eyelashes from Aurelis Beauty and the style Dulce. Some eyelashes. Put the eyelashes on. I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips now. So I have these. Red is out because I'm not gonna use red. Well, I don't think I do wanna use red. Okay, I'm gonna use red. I'm about to go get Zaxby's right now. Uh, someone else had also mentioned or asked, how do you build up confidence? And girl, for the longest, I did not have any confidence. I literally felt like I was in a dark hole. The way that I build up my confidence is doing things that I like and doing things that made me feel better within myself. Like for example, I did not think that I would like the gym so much. Like I love going. It's like a little escape feeling the burn in my muscles. Like I don't know how to explain it, but I started doing things that I liked. I started, you know, like basically like analyzing myself, like telling myself like, okay, so I don't like this, this, and this. So what do I have to do for myself to change this, this, and this? I think it's more of a self-reflect type of thing where if you don't like some certain thing or something that you within yourself you don't like um which can be like either your weight um the way you dress your hair your makeup then do things that will help you get to where you want to be you know damn i should probably take my own advice but like that's what i did to build my confidence when it comes to beauty standards it is all in your head in your head the way i see it is you are your own person nobody has the same features as you you are unique the way that you are even though you think that you aren't attractive or that you are beautiful you are like so many people think that you are and on top of that so many people wish that they look like you this whole time you're over here like thinking like wishing you look like this person or this influencer or this model all of that is like fake like social media is fake like most of those people on social media are either face tuned filtered or like you know like some of it is edited and edited 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 edit. um and you're over here comparing yourself to this and wishing that you look like that but at the end of the day they don't even look like that so i just think like self-confidence is like really like all in your head it's hard at first, yes, but once you get the hang of it and know how to like manage it, you'll be straight. You gotta fall in love with yourself, period, period. I feel like self-love is a big thing with confidence as well because if you don't love yourself, then you're not confident in yourself. I think I'm beautiful. Obviously, there's some days where I look busted as fuck and I look ugly as hell, and yes, we all have those days. But just because someone calls me or thinks that I'm not attractive isn't going to change my point of view because I already know 
that me myself i think i am and that's all that matters what you think of yourself is what matters and that will define whether you yourself will love yourself or bring yourself down so like i said i just think it's all a part of your mindset try to make yourself feel confident and do things that will make you feel confident then you'll be able to succeed with being confident within yourself i'm gonna go and order some zaxby's because we're hungry i hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me um and my little chit chat or whatever yeah so that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe make sure you have post notifications on to get notified every single time i post in a video i always challenge myself to see how fast i can say the outro don't forget to follow me on my socials y'all uh here's my instagram Arelli underscore Orozco underscore I believe so my snapchat is Arelli underscore Orozco and my tiktok if you find my tiktok you find my tiktok <laughs> I will see you guys in my next video Oops.